Yo, it's Trey from Kick Genius and KicksOnCourt.com. About to step foot in the gym. Today we have the performance test on the Adidas Crazy Quicks. I'll be doing a lot of agility based moves just to see how the shoe actually performs and caters to those moves. So that's about it. Hope you guys enjoy. So I'm back in the studio for my final thoughts over the Adidas Crazy Quicks and I'll try not to make this too long but there's a lot more that went into this shoe than I originally thought. So let's start off with the traction. As you see we have multi-directional herringbone, herringbone in the toe and heel zone going in a forward direction for back to front movements. And in the midfoot area we have herringbone going in an outwards direction to support lateral movements. Overall I thought the traction was excellent, it really surprised me because the first time I laced these up, I thought I was going to experience something more like the D-Rose 3, but to my surprise, I had no issues. The traction complements the low to the ground feel very well. Speaking of that low to the ground feel, I think we all know that they went with a, a minimal setup as far as the midsole cushioning. We have a low profile EVA cushioning setup, which is definitely not the most comfortable uh, midsole in terms of impact protection and things like that. However, I really like how close to the ground I feel when I'm wearing these. When the midsole is thinner, it's able to flex a little bit better and give you that natural one-to-one -one movement. The independent pods on the outsole also help with flexibility and natural motion of your foot. You can see the outsole is decoupled and really just makes your ride a lot more fluid. Now, in the sport of basketball, you really don't want a shoe that's too flexible. So where that support is going to come from is the sprint frame. As in my past experiences, the sprint frame did its job. It kept my, my heel and my midfoot contained during gameplay. As far as the upper is concerned, I mean, I loved it. I didn't know these came with tech fit, which is basically like spandex. It stretches and compresses around your foot and it just feels really good. They threw on some synthetic material on top where more support is needed, which is definitely a smart idea because spandex by itself definitely won't cut it. Overall, this shoe really surprised me. I, I think it's dope. I'm not sure about the durability, just holding the shoe, it feels kind of cheap, but hopefully the materials are long lasting. I thought the traction was excellent, the pure motion and the tech fit were on point, but there's always that dilemma, that balance that needs to be met. And in this situation, it comes down to the mid, so the closer you are to the ground, the less cushioning you're gonna have. So it really comes down to what you specifically look for in a basketball shoe. Big, slow post players, you know, forwards making a lot of power moves, I wouldn't recommend this shoe. If you have a lot of leg pains, you have bad knees, your shins start to hurt after a while, then I would definitely go with something with more cushioning than this because there's just not enough cushioning on this shoe that's gonna absorb enough shock or absorb the amount of shock that you need absorbed to keep you from feeling that pain. That sounded really confusing, but I hope you get that. But if you're light, playing on your toes, constantly on the ground making those swift and agile moves, then ladies and gentlemen, the Adidas Crazy Quick. It's not the perfect shoe, but it's definitely headed in the right direction. And since there's not a perfect shoe out there, 
That's really all you can ask for. So for more performance information and additional reviews, make sure you check out kicksoncourt.com. Link will be in the description. Also, this will be my last time mentioning this because I don't want to make it seem like I'm forcing people to subscribe. But for those hitting me up on Twitter and whatnot about my personal channel, Just My Thoughts TV, the link will be in the description. Those of you who are easily offended, as I've seen in our comment section in these videos, don't subscribe. Just like my channel name suggests, those are just my thoughts and frankly, I don't think like the average person. But if you are interested and for my thoughts, my rants, skits, check me out there. Just my thoughts TV. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Let us know what we should performance test next. We got more reviews, quick looks, vlogs, all that good stuff coming up. So uh, until then, it's Trey from Kick Genius and I'm out. It's for all my subscribers, man. I love y'all.